something wrong with your suit. Yeah, there's a dead guy in here. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 things we thought were CGI, but weren't. Hello, Case. Hello, Tars. For this list, we'll be looking at various movie special effects that we thought were CGI, but were actually done practically. Were you fooled by any of these? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. The Food Catch Spider-Man Being an actor must be weird. Sometimes you nail an assignment on the first try, and sometimes it requires over 150 takes. Wow, great reflexes. Almost immediately after gaining his spidey senses, Peter uses them to catch Mary Jane from taking a nasty spill. He also shows off his newfound reflexes by catching her falling lunch with the tray. To achieve the effect, Tobey Maguire's hand was glued to the tray, and he was required to catch everything for real. Hey, you have blue eyes. I, I didn't notice without your glasses. Did you just get contacts? It was even harder than it sounds. This five-second stunt took 16 hours and 156 takes to get right. Just imagine if they bungled a line after all of that. How'd you do that? Uh, work out, plenty of rest, you know, eat your green vegetables. That's what my mom is always saying. I just never actually believed her. Number 9. Pennywise's Eyes It and It Chapter 2 A large emphasis was placed on Pennywise's eyes. Director of photography Chung Hung Chung specifically lit his eyes in a different way to make them stand out, and Bill Skarsgård added his own personal touch. Here. Take it. Take it, Georgie. In some of the horror sequences, Pennywise's eyes go in different directions, almost as if he's shedding his human persona and revealing his true, otherworldly nature. You're supposed to say three. Turns out, Skarsgård can actually just do that, so no CGI was required. While appearing on Conan, Bill Hader shared a funny anecdote about Skarsgård doing it on set and creeping him out. He senses something, he kind of goes like, you know, whatever, yeah. and his yeah. eye goes like that. And I go, how is that a digital thing? And he went, oh, you mean this? And then he just he did, did it. it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, ah! Number 8. Landmark Destruction – Independence Day This movie is filled with iconic scenes, including the destruction of various American landmarks. Oh, Numerous buildings are hit by alien beams and shatter into pieces, including the White House, the U.S. Bank Tower, and the Empire State Building. None of this was achieved through CGI. The special effects team built model miniatures of the famous landmarks and then blew them to smithereens. With the help of some clever camera positioning, the optical illusion was complete. To help the fire spread towards the camera, they actually were forced to build the model street on its side and place the camera at the top of a makeshift chimney. So when we have our destruction and our fire and everything start here, it will run up the street as it eats up the fuel, and our camera will be mounted about five feet off the set. <laughs> It sounds exhausting, but it all worked out perfectly. Number 7. Exosuits – Edge of Tomorrow Listen, man, I've never been in one of these. Yeah, well, I've never been with two girls at the same time before. But you can bet when that day comes, I'll make it work. Tom Cruise clearly enjoys doing movies in which you can go hard and do things for real. Edge of Tomorrow is no different. Some worse and cheaper movies would probably be content strapping Cruz and Emily Blunt into a prop chair and digitally adding the exosuits around them. Not this one. The team of filmmakers crafted over 100 prop battle suits, many of which weighed upwards of 85 pounds. When filming first started, it took Cruz about half an hour to climb in and out of the bulky prop suits. So if it looks like the actors are struggling inside those things, that's because they most certainly are. Number 6. Contortion – The Conjuring – The Devil Made Me Do It All sorts of movie tricks are used to depict demonic possession. 
Some include lots and lots of makeup, and others require some inventive stunt work. And sometimes you just hire a skilled contortionist. In the beginning of this movie, Ed and Lorraine are exercising a demon from an eight-year-old boy named David. The boy makes some crazy movements with his body, all of which was performed by a contortionist named Emerald Gordon Wolf. It was a combination of our real actor and a contortionist which uh, took his place. It speaks to the Conjuring tradition. The only CGI involved in this scene was swapping Wolf's face with that of child actor Julian Hilliard. The movements themselves are very real and very terrifying. Number 5. The Dinosaurs Jurassic Park Clever girl. Some people may have misconceptions about Jurassic Park. Spielberg's masterpiece is considered a landmark in the history of CGI, but very few of the dinosaurs were actually computer animated. Unfortunately, those that were look a little dated today. It's, it's a dinosaur. Uh -huh. The dinosaurs that hold up, specifically the T-Rex, were made practically. The Velociraptors were played by men in dinosaur suits, and both the Dilophosaurus and Triceratops were animatronic models. My favorite when I was a kid, and now I see it's just the most beautiful thing I ever saw. <laughs> the T-Rex was also an animatronic model that stood 20 feet high and weighed over 17,000 pounds. All were made by the legendary Stan Winston, who earned his third Oscar for Best Visual Effects. Boy, do I hate being right all the time. Number 4 Weightlessness, Apollo 13. Well, folks, as uh, you can probably tell, the Aquarius isn't much bigger than a couple of telephone booths. The uh, skin of the lamb in some places is only as as thick as a couple of uh, layers of tin foil, and that's all that protects us from the vacuum of space. It's easy enough to do weightlessness with the help of CGI. Put the actors on some cables, fly them in front of a green screen, add a digital backdrop, and call it a day. But Ron Howard wanted to do it for real. Howard approached Steven Spielberg and asked him how he should do the weightless scenes, and Spielberg recommended using a Boeing KC-135. By using a specific flight pattern, this plane would give the actors and filmmakers about 20 seconds of weightlessness. When you're weightless, it feels like you've just been spun upside down. All the blood goes into your head, and it feels like, like when you're in a Rocco plane at the amusement park, it just feels like they, you've just got spun upside down. You think suddenly, like they, you think, hey, I'm upside down. No, I'm not. What's wrong? Why is it different? Oh, I'm floating. And then you realize, well, I guess this is weightlessness. Yes, this likely required lots of takes, and it probably resulted in lots of upchucked lunches. They don't call it the vomit comet for nothing, but the result looks spectacular. And that's it. We just put Sir Isaac Newton in the driver's seat. Number three, the swinging polecats, Mad Max Fury Road. <laughs> Much of Mad Max Fury Road was filmed practically, and it helped the movie attain high praise. Everything looks amazing, and there's just a certain satisfaction in watching real vehicles blow up and flip over. In the movie's climax, the bad guys swing back and forth on massive poles that are attached to their vehicles. Action unit director Guy Norris hired a Cirque du Soleil performer to train his stunt team in the use of poles, and they proceeded to do everything for real while speeding through the desert. The choreographed performance was filmed in one take and captured by numerous cameras, allowing George Miller to construct a fluid and exciting sequence in the editing room. Number 2. The Spinning Hallway – Inception I mean, the idea of using a centrifuge to manipulate gravity. It's been done on various films, most notably Kubrick's 2001. Uh, and I like the idea of 
repurposing that technology and really trying to, to choreograph an entire fight sequence. Christopher Nolan is probably the only director who can say, I need a giant spinning hallway that likely costs tens of millions of dollars. And the producers simply nod and say, whatever you need. Rather than using CGI for the hallway fight, Nolan and his team decided to craft a 100-foot-long corridor that spun on eight concentric rings. Joseph Gordon-Levitt actually did his own stunts inside the spinning hallway, and it required weeks of preparation and training. It looks like we're jumping on the ceiling and stuff. In order to actually get it done, I couldn't think of it that way. I had to think of it as, this is the ground, okay, now this is the ground, okay, now this is the ground. Nolan himself has even referred to the spinning hallway as a torture device, as it thrashed the actors and left them extremely disoriented. So many action movies now, and it's all done on computers later. Whereas these scenes that we did, it was so well thought out. It's just the things revolving, and it's up to me to keep my balance. And we did the performance, and they shot it, and that's that. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Splashhead. Terminator 2, Judgment Day. This movie revolutionized CGI, but this effect was still done practically by Stan Winston. <laughs> the Bank Vault, Fast Five. Six different vaults were made and over 200 vehicles were destroyed. The Arc Reactor, Iron Man. Robert Downey Jr.'s head was lined up with a prop torso. Oh, oh, uh, there's pus. It's not pus, it's an inorganic <laughs> plasmic discharge. It's from the device, not from my body. It smells. Yeah, it does. Making Bread, Star Wars Episode Seven: The Force Awakens. The rising bread was a practical effect. No, it didn't taste good. Zombie Horse, Army of the Dead. The decayed horse shell was sculpted and painted and placed over a real horse. There's a real horse under there. His name is Ace. Me and my team are animal lovers, so we have to take care with this horse. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Plane Rescue – Iron Man 3 It's no secret that Marvel uses a lot of CGI in their movies, so it's always a nice surprise to see something done for real. Remember that game called Barrel of Monkeys? That's what we're gonna do. 18,000 feet. Come on, people, everybody, grab your monkey! In one thrilling sequence, Iron Man saves numerous people from freefall after they're sucked out of a moving plane. This action scene was supposed to be done in front of a green screen, but the second unit director personally knew the Red Bull skydiving team and hired them to do it for real. Watching dailies, it was truly terrifying. And seeing the cameraman point, you know, from 10,000 feet in the air and you see the ground approach, it's phenomenal. There were small amounts of CGI used, like adding Iron Man's armor and the Miami coastline, as the scene was actually shot in North Carolina. But the skydiving stunt itself was 100% real. Nice work, guys. Excellent. Good team effort all around. Go us. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.